Well, folks, this is a sad one today. Um, I'm at uh, the Bogensville United Methodist Church. Well, this is where the children of Susan Smith lie. Um, both of them are buried here. They both were killed by Susan on October 25th, 1994. How sad this is. Such a sad, sad deal. Here's pictures of them. See, people had left cars and all sorts of stuff to um, show their respects towards them. And their mom took their lives uh, by drowning them in their, their car seats and uh, just so that she could continue an affair with another gentleman that didn't want any kids. Now... I, I've read articles uh, about Susan Smith in the being in prison, and she's continued to have troubles in prison. Um, she's she's gotten caught quite a few times in sexual escapades in the in the prison, and um, looks like it it's you know continuing to haunt her now as it did back in in the early nineties. But goodness gracious, how do you how do you do this to these poor little children? I don't know. I just had to come by here and and uh, pay my respects to these these little boys that that deserve so much more than what their mother gave them. I think the father eventually um, moved on and and uh, married again and had some more kids, but. I'm sure he's still probably will always be stuck in the moment of their death. I'm going to drive over uh, right now and, and find the location where it actually happened at, at the lake that it happened at. But I just had to stop by here and pay my respects to these kids. Now this is the road that Susan drove down uh, that night. And uh, she had to have gone out of her way to do it because uh, it's probably a good 10 miles outside of Union. They've kind of changed the boat ramp up now and kind of blocked it off, but she drove straight down this this area here and, and into the water uh, with her kids strapped into the back seat and uh, just let the car roll in there and let them drown. I don't know what she was thinking. Uh, she must have been at a place in her life that, that her brain was just not working. But as you drive down this, this road on, it's actually called John D. Long Lake Road, is the lake, the, the road that, that she drove in on and where the, the boat ramp was. We'll go down there in just a second and take a look at where the boat ramp was. But there's a memorial right here to these boys, which is really nice. Uh, it's dedicated in their memory. And people leave all sorts of toys and stuff here. So at least they're not, not forgotten. Um, you know, this happened in the middle of the night. This had to have been a... a she had plenty of time to think that what she was doing was not right on the way out here uh, because it's it's a pretty long jaunt from her her uh, home base to here now this is what susan would have seen as she drove down here that night um, and the boat ramp was right 
right ahead of me here. So she would have, have driven down in here and and uh, let the car go in. So this has been kind of a moving one for me. It's so sad to think about these young boys. Um, but I hope you've enjoyed it. I, I do this not to glorify what she did at all, but to try to pay tribute to these kids and, and just try to wonder what in the heck was she thinking? What in the world was she thinking? Thanks so much for watching, guys.